Thank you for interviewing me. Uh, my name is uh, Maryam Al Muhammadi. I am from Iran and I came to Korea in uh, September uh, 2019, right? Yeah. And then um, uh, I was informed about this vacancy for this PhD position uh, by one of my friends and uh, she told me about like there is an uh, available PhD position if you like you can apply and then I contacted Professor Han and uh, we did a few interviews with him with the um, faculty members and then I got the admission and I came here and I saw episodes and um, coming here it was very different from my master degree the major that uh, like my major as a PhD student it was very different from my master and then I had these uh, I mean I, I, I felt stressed and you know I'm a perfectionist so I was like worried like what will happen and stuff so um, I uh, like uh, my start was pretty like hard and I worked really hard I used to came to the lab at 5 a.m. leaving I don't know when and then uh, but um, uh, it paid back the hard work paid back and um, it was very nice that uh, my first publication like my first data set um, I was able to publish it in a very uh, good journal, uh, meaning that not because it's like a, I'm not uh, talking about impact factors or you know, you know, not that that matters or it doesn't, but um, having the chance to be reviewed by experts, by professionals and uh, my work being questioned and it was a very nice uh, it was a good challenge and I liked it and um, the reward was like the final publication was just like I was so happy I was uh, over the moon and yeah it was, that was nice pretty much it uh, well um, why part like I did not I was to be honest uh, I was not planning particularly to come to Korea and uh, studying my PhD particularly in Chandam National University. What I was looking for to uh, go for the uh, graduate, I mean to continue my graduate school and to have my PhD, okay? So um, being informed about this vacancy was like spark and I can say and then I was like yeah why not like Korea is uh, I'm I was confident that no matter how chal challenging it will be I was confident that um, uh, there will be something good on the other side so I applied and um, coming here I was pretty surprised by state of the art of facilities and all the equipments that uh, all the students, undergraduate, graduate students uh, have access to and he, like we can be subjected to our personal ideas but we cannot be subjected to our facts so uh, like yeah we one may say like yeah we it's not like uh, we have access to like entire equipment that one can need however uh, confidently i'm like assuring that like you have enough network and collaborations with other laboratories all over korea and you will have eventually if you need um, a particular uh, um, tool you will have the access beside that there are so many scholarships available for students international everybody not not, not only internationals but one drawback like one flaw that I may uh, mention is that as an international student who didn't he, who doesn't know how to speak Korean uh, I mean yeah we took we took courses but like that is not enough for understanding it entirely so most of this information about these scholarships and opportunities are in Korean 
so it will it is quite challenging to be updated about everything all the time however there is help your colleagues are there for you and um, yeah I mean it, it there is an access but it's harder for international students however for uh, Korean students or for students that uh, who uh, for students who uh, uh, know Korean language it's uh, there are tons of opportunities and scholarships they can use particularly the one that I used like I would, uh, we were working um, BK21 program it's a great thing uh, and it's a great scholarship the students internationals Koreans they, it's for it's available for everybody well the funny like i mean if we wanted to be if, you, if if i wanted to answer as a reference for the hollywood movie i would say like it's cool you're gonna be cool the lab code is cool but no it, as a jokes aside personally there is nothing like it and like being able to question every single thing that is happening for you in your body, uh, everything's around you, the life questions that you, you know the answer, you can have, like you can dig into it and like you, you, like being a biologist is basically, for me, it's my personal opinion over the subject, uh, is like questioning how things works all the time and why these things are happening like uh, for me evolution uh, is the great subject and it has been always and um, uh, it was one of the best topics in biology that like brings me into it brought me into it and then it was developmental biology and knowing how our body formed from the beginning and how it works it's just amazing and also like you know personally again intellectual curiosity towards all these questions and uh, me want uh, me wanting um, to help people to not not I'm not saying like to be a superhero or something you know it's not like you're um, aiming for the moon but um, it is nice to be able to help yourself and uh, also others. So, particularly uh, immunology uh, was a, is a great subject, and knowing, uh, like, working on uh, the mechanisms that, like, causing so many are the roots of so many diseases, and um, knowing the risk factors. Uh, are sparks for me and will be in my future studies as well so it's just I think the whole thing it's amazing it's amazing to be a biologist it's amazing to wander through life and knowing how your body and your brain works so it's I'm just so proud of it <laughs> I mean not proud I mean yeah yeah to to try to know things I think I can say that's very rewarding at least not using the word proud because it might be too much but yeah I won't have advice because uh, all of us are unique and we have our own uh, obstacles and uh, conditions and mindsets so but what I, I can have some suggestions for internationals first thing that you have to know that you have to come uh, open-minded and open for new experiencing and open for to experience new things sorry and um, both professionally and uh, personally like at social levels at uh, like academic wise uh, and uh, knowing the fact that there are so many informations are not available in English the drawback I mentioned uh, I'm hoping that it changes in the future but yeah that's the thing and then uh, knowing uh, 
come uh, trying to learn about the culture it will help you because once you overcome the social problems like you can solve problems socially so you can communicate uh, with your colleagues you can uh, and the better communication in general in life it's there is always better results so they can be there to uh, to be there for you to help you in a better way so it's very important for internationals to to be open to that thing and then um, uh, it's important to know that you're as a graduate student you're on your own and you have to it's a must that you have to be independent no matter you're Korean or international so uh, I'm a foreigner so um, you're on your own you you have to be independent you're going to do uh, your research independently and it is important to know your direction be specific know what you want to do and narrow down your uh, you know your um, ideas once you're coming to graduate school as a master this is like wider but for phds be as specific as you can be it will help you for your future career also because once because you have to know where you're going during your phd or master graduate school in general and then you know where you're going to go and uh, it's uh, better for you it's easier for you once you graduate you can look for opportunities and it's it will be better for your future i, I mean future career i guess yes that that will be my advice i mean suggestion i started to apply for uh, postdoctoral positions so there are plenty of options for people who want to continue their a career after graduation abroad outside Korea and also in Korea and uh, it depends on where you want to work the, the opportunities um, uh, vary 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 and then um, personally I applied for uh, uh, Alexander Humboldt grant it's a public fund from German government and then uh, within this uh, program I have the chance to work on my own um, ideas and work on what I want to do whatever uh, uh, you got you anybody wants to work on then you can you can write a proposal and then you can apply for the grant open it opens uh, during the year so I applied for that I got that grant and then now I'm going to work on i'm going to use an insect model but i'm going to switch to from tenebrio to drosophila and then i'm going to work on um, um, a neuron system you know uh, and i don't know neuroscience if i can be I, I'm, I'm just thinking because i want to simplify it because i know the audience not all the audience are biologists so uh, my plan is to um, have a program studying the proposal that I wrote about ensheathing uh, um, uh, uh, gallia uh, and uh, gallial cell, uh, uh, and then um, there are few work frames that uh, I don't know what will be the result and outcome, but uh, what I know is that finishing this program and based on the result uh, I will continue my future career on the in neuroscience and um, uh, maybe the uh, pathological perspectives of uh, neurodegenerative diseases and that that is my personal interest hopefully I can um, have good results after I mean uh, through this program and uh, it uh, opens uh, it opens up new windows and you know questions more questions going deeper and um, there are different options uh, like we, I can go to academia and also I can go to the industry um, which I'll go I don't know which way I don't know I'm not sure yet 
but um, that's the plan like uh, i'm going to be focused on neuroscience and yeah